Hey everybody, my name's Hi. John. I'm Sid. And uh, we are Mash and Ash, and this is our very first live on TikTok. Thank uh, you so much for everyone who helped us get to the thousand followers. This was a huge goal, so this is amazing. Yeah, and we are here in Ormond Beach in Florida. Obviously, you can see the beach behind us. That's why we, we chose that, and we, we've wanted to do this for a very long time. But, uh, you know, we could talk all about that and, and tell you the whole story about how we got to this but uh do we have to can we just drink let's start drinking oh absolutely i did want to say this one thing if you haven't yet uh go over to our website which is mash and ash.com everything spelled out and uh you can go uh sign up to get a free decal we've got these decals for everybody we'd love to send you one uh to spread the mash and ash love these are going to go on all of our handshakes and anything that we do we want to put these out there because uh we just are so grateful to the community uh, for uh, TikTok and uh, for allowing us to do this. So, well, and mainly to all of you. Yeah, so. absolutely. So, here's uh, you want to tell them how it's going to work? All right. So, we've been wanting to do this just kind of for fun, and there's all kinds of bourbons out there, and you don't always get to try them, and then you see some strange flavors, and you're not sure you want a whole bottle. So, we bought a whole bunch and have been collecting a whole bunch of travel size, and yep. since we're traveling, we figured we'd do a grab bag. That's right. So we're going to grab three of these out of here without looking. And then we're going to, uh, to open them up. And try them. Try them. Live review, live thoughts, and uh, yeah. So, All right. And most of these we've never had before. There's a couple that we've had just because, you know, a few, a few liquor stores were a little slim on their picking, so we had to pick what they had. And then we found one that had, I don't know, 30 different ones. It was so, great. Yeah. It was great. All right. So who's going first? You're going first. I'm going first. All right. Yeah, you helped me start this. You you brought some success. So you're going to start first. All right. Oh, Buffalo what'd you get? Buffalo Trace. Oh my nice God. Nice one. The, All right. the company that makes Blantons. Let's go ahead and crack it. Let's do it. No, no, no. We're going to pick. Oh, you want to pick them up? Yeah. First? Pick them and drink them. Oh, pick them and drink them. Yeah. So this is All a company right. that makes Blantons. Buffalo Trace is an amazing bourbon. Uh, so this is the Buffalo Trace Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. That's right. I get half. That's right. And then I get the other half, right? All right. Ballpark it. Eh. Adults drinking live on camera. This is to you guys, so cheers. Cheers. So this oh. is our little, mm, our little, Little Buffalo Trace. Little Buffalo Trace, isn't he cute? Look how cute he is. Uh, so cute. We are at uh, Ormond Beach. That's uh, right near Daytona. Um, thanks for watching, guys. This is. So this is our grab bag, and this is grab number one. Right Here's off the, the bat, you get that caramel. It's got a little bit of a kick to it, so it is a good beginner bourbon. Maybe not the first one they have. Mm -mm. Uh, if we're not doing anything over ice or with water tonight, so. Oh, this is great. You know, Buffalo Trace is just Buffalo Trace. It's it's for me in my house. It's just bourbon perfection. So uh, I love Buffalo Trace. Oh, wow, you're killing it. I'm, well, I think I might have given you more, but I am a little worried because I know there's some funky ones in there. Yeah, we picked up. Uh, we purposefully picked some winners, and we purposefully picked some really stinkies. So, I don't think we picked anything stinky. I think we picked some originals. Uh, I can't really read that. Sipping some as you speak. Sipping some uh, some uh, Buffalo, Trace. Buffalo Trace as we speak. This is why you're not allowed to drink and talk. That's why I'm not driving. So, mm. <coughs> one of the other things that we're doing is uh, we're RVing. So, we found this great place on the beach that's a hotel, it's cottages, and it's an RV area. RV park. Yeah, so we've got uh, we've got our rental RV, and we backed it up and got it loaded. We've we've enjoyed a couple nights already. Thank one you. One night already. Very much, Cruise America. Yep. This is this is just a plug because they were so nice about it. This is our first rental RV. This is actually our first RV trip. Right. Um. So they're they're not helping us in any way. There's no discounts. There's none of that. But definitely, this was easy. And if you are a first time RVer or you're thinking yep. about it. This is a great way. So, right. and like we said, we're at Ormond Beach out here in Florida. So, um, and so, we're doing the grab bag. Yeah. So, the first one was Buffalo Trace. And, guys, there's a lot of people that just joined. Go to mashandash.com. Uh, give me your name and address, and I'll send you one of these decals for free uh, because you guys have given so much to me and Sid. We can't help it. We just want to give back. So, thank you guys. It's I'm, my turn. I'm looking to, at the options. It's here. my turn. So, we're going right. to. I'm a little worried about what he's going to pick. 
Don't be peanut butter. Don't be peanut butter. There, there are a couple of peanut butter. There's some. Oh. No, oh, not bad. We got Lazy River uh, Bourbon. Kentucky I've never had bourbon. Lazy River before. Uh, distilled in Kentucky. Uh, and it's distilled by distillers in Fairfield, California. So I guess, yeah, it's a Kentucky whiskey. Well, and thank you for all the congratulations. Hi, back to you. I'm sorry, I can't see the names. Um, we have the phone a little far away from we us. We should really it. get like, uh, we should really get friends. this on like an iPad. Yeah, we should. Yeah. So but maybe next time. All right. So like we said, we're doing a grab bag to celebrate our um, thousand followers. And the grab bag is travel size. Whole bunch of them since we're traveling. There you go. All right. So this is the Lazy River, and I'm going to dedicate this that was alcohol to my buddy Rick uh, Rick Stano, who has helped me along the way. So this is to Rick. Ooh. Okay. I'm not going to lie. That's actually smoother than the Buffalo Trace. And it's a little Holy sweeter. Holy crap. That is really good. This, wow. this is a fantastic starter bourbon. Especially yes. for somebody that likes mixed drinks and cocktails. It's a little on the sweeter side. Uh, it's, got, it's got maybe a little citrus in there. I Maybe a little caramel, but it's definitely smooth. I like uh, I like bourbons, even if you can't taste it, that gives off that caramel vibe. Because I just, I just dig that. Hey, what's going on? And I'm not going to lie. Uh, he may not, he may have thought I was just picking weirdos, but I honestly was picking the samples that might have cost another 50 cents or something more because I thought yeah. that would help. So, it, I don't know if they're nationwide, but in Florida we have a, a place called Total, uh, Total, it's not like Canadian. Total Wine and More. Total, I'll have to drink a little bit. Total Wine and More. <laughs> We've been to Total Maybe Wine and More. Maybe have had that extra, you know, cocktail And uh, for those of you who are asking, we're in Ormond Beach. We're right near Daytona, basically. We're on vacation. Uh, we're on we're on a four day vacation, and um, we're already at the end of day two. I know, and um, so the cool thing is about Total Wine is not not only the incredible selection that they have, but as you check out, they have like five or six stations of nothing but this size alcohol. I mean, it's got everything from bourbon, whiskey, gin. Um, there was one whole side, and it was like five shelves, maybe two feet wide, two and a half feet wide. And it was just mixers and yeah. like things like limoncello. And I've never seen a limoncello, yeah. you know, airport size. Yeah, let me jump in real quick. Rick Stano just joined. Rick, this drink was dedicated to you, brother. Thank you so much for everything. And what we're doing is we're doing a grab bag for those who have just joined. We've got a few of these size. Uh, we've already had Buffalo Trace. Just, it, we just pulled it. I mean, I, we, didn't, we didn't stage it. And then we pulled Lazy River. Uh, that's what we're having right now in honor of Rick. Uh, ooh. That was nice. That was an amazing bourbon. That was great. All right. I'm just rinsing out my glass with a little water. I'm not mixing. So. Oh, bugs. Florida uh, bugs. And, happy, oh, my gosh. Look at that sunset. Happy weekend, everybody. We, we wanted this shot mainly so you could see the Atlantic coast of Florida. And how gorgeous it is and and guys i'm sorry you just missed it there were these three girls that were like literally right there doing like instagram, instagram shots. shots sorry guys uh, all right my turn go browse ricky all right i don't know there's a lot of little bottles a lot of yep. square bottles go to matchnash.com get yourself Ooh, a free decal that feels different what is there is a that? different one in there i got a different one what is oh <gasps> you threw it in Oh okay, so this was given to us by some friends two, three, four years ago. So excited. And um, there's actually a great story. It's Whistle Pig. There is a great story behind this that, um, long story shot, uh, short, um, John almost gave me a heart attack and was afraid he wasn't going to be married anymore because he wanted to try it. And he took me to a bourbon bar. And, huh, this... and I was not a bourbon aficionado. This was not a good time to do it. And... He ordered us two Whistle Pig cocktails. You know that's that's not Whistle Pig. That wasn't Whistle Pig? No. Or what was that? It's Pappy's. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. So for uh, for Valentine's Day, I thought I'd, I'd check off a bucket list item and got some Pappy's. And I, the place was uh, $35 an ounce. And I thought, well, that's that's a good price for you it. You could Why do not? that. You could swing that. Yeah. Except and, uh, they were two ounce pours. Two ounce pours each. 300 and some odd dollars later. I could have bought a bottle. I could have bought two, I could have bought three bottles of that. Woo. 
But, All uh, right, now where'd the whistle pig come from? Who get, oh. The story about whistle pig is we are... We, Our buddy gave that we to We were us. really good friends with... Hang on a second, I gotta do this like the manly way. Hang okay. tight. I got it. Uh, you want my knife? No, I got it. Yeah, we're that couple. I, we got knives got in our mine. pocket. So we're oh, really good. Oh, you want to be like that? We're really good friends with. Uh, okay, fine. Cheers. Touch the tips. We're really good friends with uh, the manager of this restaurant because we, we live in Orlando. If you notice, we have like a lot of Disney stuff because uh, we also do Disney stuff. I'm uh, on vacation. I'm wearing my my tiki stitch. And uh, Whistle Pig had just come out, and the place that we were going to was called the Poli it's called the Polite Pig. And it's at Disney Springs, and uh, so our buddy called me over. He says, "Hey, I gotta let you try this." And I was like, "What is he?" He says, "It's called Whistle Pig. It's brand new, and we just partnered with him. And since they were a bourbon place, uh, they're uh, bourbon and barbecue at Disney Springs. We've so had this for years. He couldn't give us a bottle. No. But he he had a handful of these, and he gave us uh, two two of these." And he gave us a bottle this size of... Two of those of Whistle Pig Maple Syrup. Yeah, come and on. we had one. We had one. I think it was our anniversary like two years ago. I used it on pancakes that I made. And oh, I'm so looking forward. Okay. Just, Get just all so y'all know. Get all of it. Here, here's, some, here's some bird dog. Here's some wicked pickle. I'm just picking out the weird ones. Here's the bird dog black cherry. Wicked this is what pickle. we could have done. He didn't Let know. Let your minds run with that one. Blackberry. He didn't know what was in here. So this um, is a whistle pig. This is what we're about to drink. All right. But then we also had some Winchester and some quarter horse. So we, we pretty much stacked it with stuff that would be good. We'll, uh, we'll do another one of these. If you guys like Anybody it. Anybody know what this is? Colonel Lee. I've never seen it before. No idea what it is. It was a bottle. Yeah. I threw it in the mix. That's right. If you guys like this kind of thing, just let us know. We'll do another one of these when we get back home. Or we could do another. We've got some. Oh, can I oh. tell them what we're going to do tomorrow night? Sure. Oh, there it is. That's what he didn't want. He didn't want I did the not peanut want butter. That one. So, tomorrow night, we're going to do another one of these. Roughly the same time. 7, 8, somewhere in that neighborhood. But, but what we're going to do is we have a handful of different. Is it? It's white whiskey. White whiskey. <laughs> or moonshine. Flavored moonshine. All right. So, hang on. This uh, this right here goes to uh, a couple different people. This one we're going to dedicate to a bourbon dad because he really kind of got me into doing this. This one goes to uh, you because I didn't have really good success until you came on board. And this Women goes and bourbon, y'all. Uh, and this goes to uh, our good friend Merrick, who uh, works for Horse Soldier, uh, Horse Soldier and uh, American Freedom Distillery. And to Patrick, and who to Patrick. gave it to us. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks, guys, for a thousand. All right. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Female speaking here. Very smooth. Definitely a rye. Like you can taste the rye, but it's not so rye that you feel like you're, you know, licking somebody's foot. That's Lafrogue. I know it's Lafrogue. <laughs> so one of the Sorry. first bourbons one of our friends tried to introduce us to is they went immediately to Lafrogue. It's or not a bourbon. It's a whiskey. Well, it's okay. A, yeah, it's an Irish whiskey. Um, it, it, it seriously tastes like you're licking nasty, moldy feet. Right. When you're not a whiskey or bourbon person, this has a beautiful, sweet rye finish. Honest, honest to God, and a lot of people will say this because Blanton's is so overhyped but I would rather invest the money on a bottle of whistle pig than I would a bottle of Blanton's and I found I found a bottle of whiskey pig today for about 53 or whistle, pig? whistle pig what did I say whiskey pig whiskey pig whistle pig for around 53 bucks we this may have to go why get you're not it allowed to drink before we podcast now this is the joy of one minute videos because I can edit all my stupid out but when they go live you, you can't do it you realize I just confused whistle pig for happy so yeah, you know that we all have those days and I love that like you can see the reflection of our reflection yeah so guys so, thank so that's you the building that we're yeah. not staying at right yeah. there and that's the view yeah so guys we just want to say thank you thanks for watching tonight thanks for joining us and uh thanks for helping us get to a thousand i know a lot of guys do and, like and thank you for putting up with our crazy because yeah. really even edited 
we're still a little nuts. I know a lot of guys were doing like, uh, you know, bottle giveaways and we'll do stuff like that as well. But I wanted to see if we could do it just purely on content and relationship. And you guys were- And, and just a couple of begging. Just a little, a little, little bit, of, bit of A little bit of begging. We didn't beg uh, until this week. Not really. But uh, guys, thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate each and every one of you. If you have a question, we're not the go-to. Do you Wait, guys oh. up for a dual live? We're gonna hit you up offline. Yeah, Rick, how do we do that? Is that what, is that, what that is? No, no, no. Yeah, that's Rick's not, I have no idea. Yeah, Rick, how do you, if we could, I, I don't know how to do, I literally just turned a thousand yesterday, so I don't know how to do all that fancy stuff like you guys. <laughs> we're the non-fancy. Well, I don't Rick, even have makeup on today. Well, Rick's going to try to get me through that. Uh, if you haven't heard, please go to mashandash.com. The link is in our bio. Uh, the very first post there is how to get a free decal. It's free. I, I just need to know where to send it to. Uh, okay. Let me know that. Love to get that out to you. All right. Somebody just commented. These may be Costa. So I do I do races. I do 5Ks. I do 10Ks. This was that's actually, coaster, oh, right coast, that's your, yes, but he was commenting on the sunglasses. Yeah, sunglasses are. Um, well. Oh. Oh. Oh, my. Hey, guys. The one, the only, Rick Stana, what's up, What's Rick? going on, guys? How you doing, buddy? I am so okay, thrilled I, to see you guys at 1K. I, Thanks, man. It is so nice to meet you because, like, you seem to be my husband's man crush right now. <laughs> But he's coming home to me. I'm I don't spin right that now. way. But if you have nice bourbon collection, I might. That's right. My, my wife's cracking up in the background, too. All <laughs> right. Great. If he gets to bring his wife on, bring yours. Rick, thank you so much for the encouragement and the help and just for being awesome. And uh, Rick is a Browns, a Browns fan. I'm assuming you're a Browns fan. Yeah. we're. Uh, I live about 30 minutes west of uh, downtown Cleveland. Where are you? Can I ask? Yeah, we're in uh, North Ridgeville. Okay, okay, so I grew up in Euclid. Oh, okay, gotcha. And I spent so, a lot of time up in, uh, up in uh, well, I, I grew up sort Worcester. of in Worcester. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's actually yeah, a new distillery cool. that just opened up in Worcester called uh, Minglewood. Yeah. yeah. Have you been to je uh, just another effing brewery down in Worcester yet? It's a... No, not yet. Uh, I don't get down to Worcester too terribly often. It's, it's worth to... it. Uh, he's a good what hour north yeah yeah about an hour i used to go i used to be down that way a ton for work when i had to travel a little bit uh so right. i stopped you know in and out a little bit but now that i am i'm not traveling and i just have a nice 20 minute commute to work uh nice yeah it's nice That's no cool. I found, so what are you drinking tonight uh i haven't started on anything yet uh, i'm probably gonna do some uh treaty oak ghost hill bourbon Ooh. yeah my really? uh, yeah, let me go grab the bottle real quick. Hey, uh, gentle ginger giant, giant Mrs. Sims. Uh, it's they're actually out of the Austin area, Austin, Texas. Nice. And uh, brother-in-law brought it up for me when uh, he just came up to visit a short bit ago. Hey, uh, Corey, uh, Corey Putnam just sent a present. I don't know what that. Oh wow. Oh, that, we have we have that. done that. Yeah, we'll get yeah. to that. Corey it's just little... said presents. I don't know what that is, but thank you. He said present Ooh. times five. Right. What does that mean? So, uh, that's chug time. That's so what? you start seeing confettis and presents and different things. Uh, that's uh, to entice Thanks. you to chug on your first live. Nice. Okay, so and for anybody who is in the chat and is watching, um, thank you so much. We are so glad to see you. We are not, we're not trying to ignore you, but my husband is totally having like a fandom moment right nice. now because Stano <laughs> is on here. So, um, well, it's okay, baby. let's, uh, let's do this. Uh, you can we pull another more? bourbon? Let's do another bourbon. Oh, what if it's peanut butter? I'm okay with some peanut butter. I just don't have any board to make the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Nice. Peanut butter and jelly straw. All right. Yeah, do that one. <laughs> no, which one? <laughs> My wife just told me. Uh, uh, hey, Sid, my wife just. Yeah, my wife just said she goes. I'm not having a fangirl moment, and I'm in your house. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It, if your spouse doesn't keep you honest, then no one will. That's right. So That's we're about good. to drink the uh, black cherry uh, bird dog. See, this is what happens when you ask. Pray, pray for us. 
Actually, I think I got some of that sitting over here, too. Well, I got something from Bird Dog over here. You know, we got the Bird Dog Peach, and it was fantastic. Yeah, it's not bad. And we have heard, so we saw a lot of, like, Crown Royal Peach mixed with sweet tea. So I'm sure the Bird Dog stuff makes goes the same way. Bird Dog makes yeah. a peanut butter whiskey, and, uh, it, oh. you know, Screwball was the first one brave enough to take it nationwide. Oh, and Screwball needs to take it back. That stuff is terrible. You know what? It's really good when you put a shot of it and yeah. a half a shot of Chambord in a McDonald's vanilla milkshake. The the, the thing oh. about Screwball to Peanut me butter and jelly milkshake. is the same about any kind of beer that you need to add Ooh. something to to make it better. Like Corona, you need to add a lime to it or lime juice to it to make it better. Any beer that you have to add something to isn't really great beer. Yeah. So, uh, I think that was oh. one. Hey, Maggie's in the live. Megan. Hello, it's Megan. Not, it's a little sweet for my taste. <laughs> yeah, um, I did it. I tried it with, uh, I think, who was it? Jones Man, I think, did it with uh, Screwball and Grape Juice to do basically peanut butter and jelly. No, no, no. Uh, do the sham board. board. The sham board oh. is much better. No, no, no. Will you mix it in? I promise you, it cuts the sweetness. But it works. <laughs> you know what this tastes like? It tastes like uh, Jim Beam Red Stag. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah right now, it. right now, I just right, can't get so enough of uh, the uh, this old is what we're on for right now, y'all. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, see now we're talking our language. <laughs> yeah, old Forester was one of those. Have our... What did you say, Rick? You said, said Old Forester was one of those. I kept passing it up for a long time. And then I picked up the 1910 because uh, uh, Blue Collar Bourbon is a good friend yeah. of mine. Uh, yeah. I was over at his house, and he gave me a uh, taster of a handshake of 1910 and 1920. So I did half of it, and then I made 1915 with the other half. Uh, right. Game changer. Game changer. Yeah. yeah. All right. Have you All right. tried the Statesman yet? I actually I just got a handshake of the Statesman from uh Texas Bourbon 343. So I got to try. All right. Uh hang on. I just uh, Bourbon know, Hunter. How did we miss this? Uh, I didn't even I know this was in the bag. Yeah, Bourbon the Hunter 37 says do Screwball and Grape Sunkist. Oh With my three god. Hearts behind it. Like okay, so what are what are the proportions of that? Bourbon 137, uh, do you just do, what, like eight ounces of Grape Sunkist and then one taster of uh, Screwball? Hey, Connor, what's going on, buddy? All right, Rick, I have to ask you. So you have your own chat that's totally different from the chat we see? Yes. So I have my chat. And, like, right now I have uh, – who do I have? I have Bourbon 137, Big Board 406 – Gentle Ginger Giant and uh, Daisy Wales O. And my niece was in here for a minute. And then I'm, sh I'm sure she'll make fun of me later. Uh, and then, All right. And then, so and then you guys have your own chat. New... Okay. So somebody's telling us that they banned this size in New Mexico. And that came from uh, Cooking and Fishing. And then we have Appalachian Hooch. I just want to address this. Okay. Uh, content is content. It. If you think that you are more boring than us, then you just must be putting up a black screen because we are oddballs. We are <laughs> we are weird. So if y'all right. are watching this, please go check out uh, Appalachian Hooch. Exactly how it sounds. Yeah, purely for the name alone. I mean, that's pretty yeah. awesome. So. Yeah. Uh, was it? Uh, do, 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 do. Bourbon Hunter Thirty Seven said yes. That was it. About eight ounces of uh, Scrape Sunkiss. And then one of the airplane bottles of the screwball. All right. Appalachian Hooch. We actually have flavored moonshine that we're going to try a couple different flavors of tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so send us some prayers because this is stuff we, I don't remember what we bought it for a holiday and it's just these little, little baby. What are the bottles called? Like uh, jars. Jars. Little, they little don't, jars. They're not the ones with the handles on them. They're just one size down. And yeah. I know we, we talk about bourbon and whiskey all the time, but I thought, you know what? Let's just have some fun and do some white whiskey tasting for. <laughs> oh, no, uh, I didn't know that was a thing. We went right. into the uh, the liquor store yesterday, and it said like white whiskey, and I'm like, 
well, that's awfully racist. What's up with that? And then it was like, uh, <laughs> it was all the white lightning. That was the whole deal. Nice. Anyway. All right. So let's talk Cleveland Browns for about a minute. What did you think of the right. draft? I'm actually pretty happy with the draft. You know, yeah. we, we're pretty strong. We needed a good running back. It, you know, the person they picked seemed great. I don't even remember who the second pick was. I couldn't care less. He's so low in the draft. I thought, I thought overall it was, I thought overall it was great. Luckily, the the team didn't need a lot, which is for a Brown fan, that's like, yeah, it's saying a lot right was. there. But yeah, I thought, I thought that their first round pick was was super solid. Uh, I think their second round pick was was good needed. Um, and then they've done so much great work in uh, picking up the uh, uh, oh crap, the name's out of my head. I should not drink before I do these videos. And free agency, <laughs> the guys that they picked up in free agency oh, are yeah. freaking beasts. So I think that Cleveland, and, and and this has been echoed by a lot of the sports pros, and I'm I'm do not consider myself one, but uh, I I agree with them. I think that Cleveland has the potential to be a contender. Unlike the year, you just you just spoiled it. You just like totally karma is going to come back, knocking on wood. <laughs> unlike when you're uh, throwing the salt. Unlike when Baker said, "I woke up feeling dangerous." Year, yeah, I think they really legitimately have a year. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. Uh, they, you know, pretty much the last, not counting this draft, so the last two and free agency, they took care of the offense. Thank you. You know, you brought nice. quality guys in. Like one of my favorite guys to listen to in interviews is Nick Chubb. He's one of the few guys that if if he ever leaves Cleveland, which I hope he doesn't, I will follow that guy for his entire career. Georgia boy. Yeah. Georgia he's boy. A, he was a bulldog, right? Yes, yes. he was. So yeah. my husband owns one jersey, and it is Nick Chubb. And it's because he was so excited over Nick Chubb, I bought him that for his birthday last year. That's that's a good wife, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah. I re- and I own I one jersey. I what? refuse to buy current players because I had a Winslow jersey, and that creeps in prison. So, <laughs> okay, so then you'll appreciate the one jersey I own, and, and it's a girl's jersey, so it's not cu- cut quite right, and the letters are way too small, but it's Kozar. Yeah. yeah. That, but is, look, the, whole the, only other, the only other thing I want Cleveland Browns is somebody actually out at Three River Stadium made this T-shirt. It was one of their vendors. And, on the, and I'm so sorry to anyone if you're easily offended. I apologize. On the front, it said Baltimore sucks. And on the back, it said Modell swallows. <laughs> That's really, if this you is get, our first live. TikTok will kick us off like that. Well, no, he drinks water. So he has to swallow his yes, water. What, what right. are you talking about? I don't know. Hey, uh, while we're chatting here, can we have another one real quick since we're drinking? Okay, we got it, some business here. Clowny, yes. That's the guy. Secondly, yeah. we're at Ormond Beach. Hold on. Thank you, Big Bird 406. Yes, Mason Jars. That's what I meant. We're on Ormond Beach near Daytona. Rick <laughs> looks like Kozar. Much more handsome. <laughs> Just a lot fatter. And uh, and for the time being, we're going to try this quarter horse. Now, we tried quarter horse not too long ago, but this is the Kentucky rye. So we've not done the rye yet. So All we're right. going to give it a whirl. Hold on. Hey, I'm going to do, hey, do one with you real quick. Hang on. All right. All right. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm gonna do this treaty oak. All right, I'm. Oh wait, do you have any bullet? I do not have bullet. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, the only one we have you might have is like Jim Beam. No, no, no. He's gonna do one with us. I know, but I was trying to see if we had the same thing. That's all right. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna hang on a second. Seriously, and nobody has Sorry. answered. Does anybody know what this is? For... God. We've Sorry, got, God. We've got so, five empties in front of us. We were only supposed to have three, but now we got five. All right. So, very, very good. A little bit of a sharp uh, finish. Maybe a secondary, definitely not your first time bourbon. Buffalo Trace, definitely. Yes. A pop. Yeah, yeah. Lazy definitely not River. A have you Lazy, heard of this? Lazy River. I've heard of it. It's fantastic. It's really good. Tell your wife. She'll like it. This is, if you are not a bourbon person, this is smooth. It's caramel. It's citrus. And it does not hurt at all. Yeah, wifey won't even smell bourbon. Whistle pig. Oh, I love How can you not pig. like whistle pig? But still, it's it was a little so dry. Expensive. Bird dog, black cherry. It's cough syrup. 
Just just go have uh, bad, Jim Beam right. Red Stag. It's about the same. And then what we're about to try is the Quarter Horse Kentucky Rye. You nice. Go back about a half dozen videos we did Quarter, ho quarter Horse Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Uh, really phenomenal. And Cheers. Uh, who is this to, Rick? Who we, who we who are we toasting to? Who we toasting to? You guys getting a 1K. Sounds Aww, good. Cheers. So Cheers. Cheers, brother. On. Might take a second sip because you just had cough syrup. It now, is. What, what, it is a stronger flavor. This it's is not bad. A this is, this is not a. Um, I'm just going to try bourbon for the first time. Bourbon. This has got some kick to it. Rick, what are you having again? I had a Treaty Oak Ghost Hill. They're out of uh, around the Austin, Texas area. Yeah. It's a little. It's a little young. It's about, I think it's between 18 and 24 months. Uh, you know, it, uh, heavy corn. I think it's like 68% corn or something like that. It's good. I will be really excited to see this in a couple more years. Uh, yeah. I think this bourbon will be phenomenal once it gets to about that six to eight year mark. Uh, but it's okay. good. Like next, when, next time we go to Texas, I'll bring a bottle home. Sweet. Okay. We Barato 83. I would like the proportions on the salt and caramel whiskey and apple crown royal. Is it one to one? Is it what is it? Apple crown royal. Uh, we almost had the peach crown. I royal. would love to see this mellowed out after another like no five or six years. I would like. Yeah, that yeah. that treaty oak is fantastic. I, I really no. like it. Just a little bit. Just a bit. A little, a yeah. Little bit. Uh, all right, Connor, we actually you, added a dash push. of water to this one, and this one is quarter horse. Yes, I, I'm Vanna. I'm in charge of showing off the bottles. No, not a fan. It's good, but it's not like it's not opening up very well. Planning a bourbon run in a few weeks. Plan to document the mashing run aging. So let me tell you a story, Rick, while I got you here. This all started from uh, last year towards the end of the year we were planning a vacation to kentucky and taking the bourbon trail right and then covid shut it down completely okay i'm not even kidding you i had spreadsheets i had airbnb <laughs> reservations i had we have to leave this this distillery by this time i had dinner reservations so and the, so the then freaking the, state of kentucky shut down so then the thought was well, why don't we start a tiktok channel and then we can kind of document our travels. And then we didn't go. And so we just sat on it and didn't do anything with it for a long time. And then he started doing something with it without me knowing. And then she jumped on. And then we've, like, we hit a thousand in, like, weeks. And a lot of that's from you. Thank you. Oh, so you guys are awesome. We used I to be, love uh, your content. We Thanks. used to be Disney podcasters. So... You know, sitting here and talking to an electronic device is uh, a yeah. second hat to us. Yeah. Yeah, this so, is still a little bit of a learning curve, especially like my first live. Thank goodness I had good mo um, the, my moderators took care of me. I had uh, Jill uh, and uh, Joe, uh, who, Joe's uh, Blue Collar Bourbon, uh, and then Jill Marzak. Uh, they took care of me because uh, they, they were just flying in and then. Uh, I was kind of sitting kind of stagnant around like the 700 mark for quite a while. And then uh, a bourbon dad and dad's brown water uh, went ahead and stoked the fire, uh, jumped in. And then within moments, uh, myself and ice cold bourbon, they pushed us together. We were nice. like nice. up over a thousand and doing our first live. Well, I did way too many bottle chugs for a Monday night. Uh, even I told myself I wasn't going to. And I hope the hygienist didn't get a uh, contact buzz on that right. Tuesday morning because I had a dentist appointment at 7 a.m. Wow. Uh, with it. But, you know, it's so much fun. Uh, I started really just consuming content. And I was following guys like uh, Brown Water Way. Uh, I, you know, I found a bourbon dad, a USMC bourbon wife, and was really just learning and, you know, consuming it all. And then uh, Buffalo Jr., who's uh, down in Columbus, uh, him and I, started chatting back and forth and he was the one that really encouraged me to start uh posting some content and once i finally got brave enough uh, to jump on and do now i'm just in the hole uh, right. 
That's awesome. All right, so I'm going to be weird. So this is our evening, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's been it's been awesome. And, um, you know, I, I get to meet great people. I have not, like, met or chatted with. I mean, we've, we've traded comments back and forth with the Bourbon Dad. Uh, but I'd like to meet him. His content is great. And I just thought, if we could get to 1,000 people and start doing live videos. Yeah. You know, Sid and I are fine. Like, with a minute, with that time restraint, was fine. And, and, and some editing. And a little bit of editing. But being <laughs> able to just sit and talk and hang out and see how we are together and uh, how we do things. And I, I figured it would be something that would just be fun. And I didn't know. I knew about the duet, live duet stuff. I've never done one. But I knew that once we got to the point where, like, we're, we're able to talk to other bourbon aficionados like yourself. I mean, I knew that we would be, we would be good at it. And Sid's amazing. And... We don't know a lot. He's drunk. We don't know a lot, <laughs> but uh, but we know what we like. Right, yeah, exactly. For anybody who is still watching or who just joined us, so step out. Can y'all see? This is our view. It's not quite as bright as it looks. H and yeah. Taylor. It's gorgeous. Where are you guys at again? You guys down around we're, Naples or something? Oh, you're at uh, Atlantic. So oh. right now, Other coast. we're on vacation. We're in Ormond Beach, so we're on the East Coast. Uh, we are just north of Daytona. Yeah. So we actually gotcha. passed the uh, inter Daytona International Speedway on our way here, and he had that a total cool. Georgia boy fan moment. That was Anyways. cool. I'm not a big NASCAR guy, but it's like, holy crap, that's like, that's Daytona. And it just kept going, and it <laughs> kept going, and then we get to the tour center, and then it kept going, and then there was the parking lot, and we're like, holy crap, this thing is huge. Uh, somebody just asked us if we were going down to New Orleans. We've been to New Orleans. We don't have a trip planned, but we would like to go back. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's a back. big there's a big meetup in New Orleans. I think they're planning for like the first weekend in December. Mm, um, that'd be fun. Uh, we could do that. and Bourbon, and a lot of them are doing it. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make it because I got a big project at work that's due to go um, live around there. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get the time off um, to be able to go, um, unfortunately. But I love New Orleans. I've been there twice, and it's fantastic. Right. Uh, the only th the funny thing is like I don't like Bourbon Street itself. Like I was really disappointed in Bourbon Street. I actually found it to be kind of disgusting. A little uh, bit, especially at four in the morning. Well, yeah. We, we went and we met up with a friend of mine that I used to work with here in Orlando, and and he took us kind of bar hopping. And I remember vaguely stumbling home, and it it was fun because it was the people we were with. Right. So we right. were with friends. We were having a good time. Please go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, I was just gonna say. And at the end of the day, you know, I actually I went to a bachelorette party in downtown Orlando, and I felt very old. But at the same time, I loved the people I was with, and I absolutely adore the bride. <laughs> so it was good. So, you know. Uh, when you were in New Orleans, did you get to go to the Bourbon House? I did. So one of my very best friends growing up. His wife is from New Orleans. So the first time that I went, I actually stayed with her parents. And they took me around to the different spots and kind of some of the off the beaten path stuff and that. And I enjoyed it. It, it was a ton of fun. Uh, but like when I was there on Bourbon Street, it was kind of like just a constant smell of urine and puke. And your, sho That's your, Street. your, your shoes actually st stuck to the pavement. Yes. Like you're like you're walking through bubble gum. Uh, and then, like, the drinks, you know, the drinks were good. I mean, it was, it was, I went to the big ones, but the food is where it's they at down sweet. there. I mean, yeah. The drinks the were very sweet. Yeah, the food is what's amazing down there. It's like, oh, my God, I could eat my way through New Orleans. Oh, there it is. One place, to one. Hang yeah, on one second. We did, we that. did get the ratio one to one. Thank um, you. So, Bourbon Street is the only place I have stood in line for, uh, well, I'm going to say coffee and donuts, and anyone from New Orleans going to yell at me because it was beignets. Beignets. Cafe but, du Monde. The oh, coffee is strong at the Cafe du Monde. As, as, oh, yeah. Uh, we bought coffee cups. Say. We brought it home. And, and really, though, it felt like we were eating more powdered sugar than anything. Right. Yeah. He is more a sweet person than I am. So. I mean, but, look at me. I've got the, the body of a model. I mean, <laughs> a model. A, a model. T Ford, you know, but, <laughs> hey, hey, we're going to call it a night, my friend. Thank you so much. Hey, sounds great. So glad to talk to you guys. Yeah, so man. nice to meet Thanks you. Thanks so much, Rick. 
Yeah, you guys and, are awesome. Uh, if you ever come down to Orlando town, uh, first drinks on us. You got it. We'll do. And, and probably the second one. Maybe the fifth. Yeah. Maybe just the bottle. We'll just call it a night. <laughs> there we go. We'll, we'll just do a bottle service and split it. There you go. <laughs> Thank right. you. We'll to see you guys. Everyone else that is Thanks, watching Rick. and commenting and oh my gosh. This is yeah, a celebration. This is the best first live I've ever done. So there you go. Yeah, this is super hey, cool. Uh, thank you guys so much. Come visit us over at mashandash.com. Uh, spelled out mash and ash. And, and, uh, and if you're listening to ours and you're not following Rick Stano, please, please do. do. Uh, what's your? Uh, how do people get in touch with you on uh, on the Instas or wherever you want to promote, yeah. Rick? Uh, I'm just here on TikTok at Rick Stano. Uh, I'm probably not going to do a name change. Uh, everyone kind of knows me as that by now so uh, i'm still learning instagram uh you know so i'm just it's keeping it R here so it's r-i-c-k-s-t-a-n-o correct awesome Sweet. yeah I'll, I'll hit Man. the website up and grab a decal from you guys oh thank you thanks rick hey guys thank you so much rick thank you you guys have a good night cheers from Vermont beach we'll see you tomorrow night see you later Go okay. live together has ended. All right, we're still trying to figure this out, y'all. All right, so the only problem we're going to have is how do you quit? Jane, get me off this crazy thing. All right, no, no, no. And now. Exit live. All right.